Yo, let me tell you about one of the main struggles I had to overcome to really experience walk in and own my strength. That's right. About to talk to you about the struggle I had that kept me for so long from realizing my strength. And it might be the situation for you, which is why I'm here. Stay tuned to the end of the video. We finna nip this in the bud. First of all, happy new year. You watching this video right now means you made it through another one. Congratulations to you. You know what I'm saying? For making it through another one. And early congrats for everything you about to accomplish this year. We on the bigger and better things without a doubt. Yo, it was so long in my life where I really was going through such a sense of undiagnosed, almost like depression, really and truly. And it, I was so young. I was like 17. It lasted for a while, to be honest, all the way up to I was about 24. Things were not going right. It was just held to skelter for me. It was that time where I was graduating high school, going off to college, didn't really want to trying to rap, but I'm still in the streets. I'm just everywhere trying to be everything for everybody, really and truly. But the thing about it is I was depleted and like I said, borderline depressed because like I said, trying to be everything for everybody other than who? Right, you guessed it, shorty in the back. You guessed it, other than myself. Other than myself, yo. And I had to realize like, yo, you are not realizing the renewed version of yourself, sir, talking to myself because you keep reneging on your own word, right? I wasn't able to experience the renewed version of myself sooner because I kept reneging on my own word. Listen, we talk about winning mindset. That has to come from a place of true confidence, right? True confidence can only come from an innate knowledge of one's own dependability, Right. I wanted to be dependable for you, them, my mama, they mama, homeboy over there, I don't know. And I was leaving myself high and dry. Right. It was declarations I will make to make my life better. So I thought, but I didn't follow through on it. But I was giving other people yeses, which should have been no's, which was taking my time and attention from what I needed to be doing for myself, to for, for me to get where I needed to be part of me to get to the place in life where I could really be effective for anyone else. I kept reneging on my own declarations, on my own word. And that was what was keeping me from, you know, realizing this stage of myself in which I'm growing into now, stepping into now way sooner, right? Better late than never, but God, but what I would hate for to happen, right, going into this new year is for that to be the sense and the case for you any longer, right? We're in that day and age and that time of the year, right, where we're making New Year's resolution, all that bull crap. I don't do that. But if that's your thing, you're going to want to check yourself and really run this video back. Make sure you understand what we're talking about right now, because this is crucial. You want to get that momentum. You want to get your mindset right. You want to get them M's in the bank. You know what I'm saying? You got kids. You got a business you're trying to run. You're trying to get your health better. Okay. Well, I want you to get out of eye with your goals, right? I want you to get okay with your nose right not your nose but your nos homie but even your nose because i want you to be okay with what you see i want you to be great ecstatic excited about what you see in front of you before your eyes which is your life but even more so what you see when you look in the mirror we talking supreme confidence right that's the only way you can get to a winning mindset if you're confident within yourself and you're not going to be confident until you start taking you seriously so whatever it is you, you what the vision is write it down you got a vision board right i want you to start to a win law right off the rip this year count all the small wins Right, because they're not small until you they only small until you realize they played a major part, right? So write everything down. And once you do, I want you to call Shorty back, tell her never mind on that you had committed to last week. You bought the lock in on and with and for you. That's what timing is. Yo, 
Trust me, like I said, I went through 17 through age 24 going through that, dealing with that. Somehow, I broke from that, and I'm only here because now it's your turn. You want help doing that? You need help doing that? Hey, you in the right place. Stop what you're doing. Text me now. Let's get on the call. Let's work this out. I want to lock arms with you so we can get you to a place to where not only you got some vision, but you got that 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 zeal that you need to really lock in, to follow through, and to be there for you. Text me at 252-470-4098. Again, 252-470-4098. It's time that you realize the renewed, huh, new and improved version of you. And I'm here to help you do that. Holla at me. It's your boy Too Fresh back with another one. Go stream Furnace Talk. We still doing it major all across the globe. Enjoy, and I'll see you on the next one.